Hello, can't stop scratching your scalp? Do you constantly find yourself embarrassed to do so in public? Are you seeing flakes everywhere? Stop right there. Don't ignore that itch. While a little itch may be okay and nothing to worry about, but if it's a persistent problem, let's take a good look at it. Hi everyone, I'm Grisha and welcome back to Sublime Life YouTube channel where we've been breaking down all things about skin, hair and makeup for you. Did you know our scalp is one of the most vulnerable parts of our body that's susceptible to internal and external changes? Remember, a healthy scalp is a necessity to have healthy hair. So let's dive right into it. Now let's look at what's causing that itchy scalp of yours. 1. Dandruff is the most common reason for an itchy scalp. Dandruff can occur on oily scalp as well as dry scalp. Shampooing too often or not often enough can cause dandruff as well. Dandruff occurs around the sebaceous glands and if inflamed, it can cause redness, itching and flaking. Number two, psoriasis. You can notice this if you have scaly, raised and red patches on your scalp. Psoriasis often leads to itchiness of your scalp. Psoriasis can stem either from a faulty immune system or genetics, which can cause cells to grow and cause scaly patches on the scalp. Number three, lice. Remember that annoying problem you had as a child? It can be contracted as an adult too by sharing brushes, combs with an infected person. These small bugs can lead to incessant scratching of your head. Yikes. Number four, eczema. Redness, swelling, itchiness, burning sensation can all be symptoms of scalp eczema. It can be caused either by hormonal changes, a prolonged illness, or stress. Number five, allergic reaction. If you're not washing your shampoo or conditioner of your scalp properly, that may cause slight itchiness and irritation. If you are washing your scalp properly after shampooing and conditioning your hair, it may be an allergic reaction due to your ingredients in the product. If you are someone that constantly dyes their hair, low quality dyes contain an ingredient called PPD. This ingredient is an irritant and cause contact dermatitis on your scalp. Now that you've decoded the reasons for your itchy scalp, let's look at some prevention methods and the right care for the scalp. Here are some foolproof methods to treat your scalp. Number one, treating the dandruff. Now, as we have previously seen, the dandruff can be the first and foremost reason for itchy scalp. Treating dandruff is most important. To treat this yeast-like infection, you can use ingredients such as zinc pyrethion, coal tar, aloe vera, neem oil, and salicylic acid. Ensure that you're using a gentle shampoo and it's not stripping your hair of its natural oils. We love the FCLT shampoo and True Frog Dandruff Control shampoo. Ensure you keep your scalp clean. Now your hair wash routine can vary based on whether you work out or not, your scalp type, the weather. So it's best you take a call considering these factors. You can wash your hair every alternate day, if not every day. Ensure you're not using extra hot water because that can dry your scalp out further and cause more flakiness and itchiness. Number two, exfoliate your scalp. Just as we exfoliate our skin to keep our pores clean and clear, it's important that we exfoliate our scalp as well. You can use ingredients such as salicylic acid or fruit enzymes that are found in products like Flossum Mean Clean Exfoliating Gel. If you have dry scalp, you can use this product once in a week or once in two weeks. For oily scalp, you can use this product one to two times a week. Ensure that the exfoliator that you're using on your scalp isn't too harsh and you're not scrubbing too hard on your scalp. Just like your skin, your scalp is also prone to irritation so best use mild products for your scalp as well. Three, use a moisturizing mask or a cooling treatment to soothe your scalp. Now you can use aloe vera one to two times a week for 15 to 20 minutes on your scalp just to soothe and calm your scalp down as aloe vera has soothing and healing properties. We absolutely swear by the Prakriti Herbal's itchy scalp concentrate for this. Sometimes your scalp can be super dry and maybe crying out for some moisture. On those days, you can use a moisturizing mask to keep it hydrated enough. 
Arpic is the true frog conditioning hair mask that provides some much needed nourishment to our scalp and hair. Number four, tea tree oil to the rescue. There is nothing like tea tree when it comes to antifungal, anti-inflammation and antibacterial treatment. Tea tree itself can be too concentrated for your scalp and cause an irritation. So it's best if you mix tea tree oil with certain carrier oil to get the best of it. We love the combination of clay essentials tea tree oil along with house of beauty onion oil to get rid of that instant itch and calm the scalp down. And last but not the least, avoid sharing your combs, brushes and all other hair tools. You never know who may be carrying what on their scalp. Your friendly neighbor just may be carrying a lot of dandruff and lice, which may transmit to your scalp as well. Better be safe than sorry. So we hope this video helped. All the products that we talked about are mentioned in the caption below. Do check them out. Feel free to leave your questions and comments. We'll definitely get back to you. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you. See you again.